Hello everyone welcomes to my YouTube channel Recall Film Lovers. In today's video, I will be going through the 2016 crime thriller film, Bad Sister. Don't forget subscribe and hit the notification bell. At the beginning of movie there was sister Sophia and young boy named Jason Brady, were escorted to a Catholic boarding school. They were greeted by the headmaster, sister Rebecca. Meanwhile, elsewhere and still in the same boarding school location, another sister observes Jason and his family from the principal's office. The sister was named Sister Sophia. Shortly after, Sister Rebecca returned to her room and greeted Sister Sophia. Sister Rebecca reminds her that every nun must comply with the school's policies and regulations. After this Rebecca shows Sophia her room. In the room Sophia watches Jason's music video on laptop. And seeing him, she starts kissing her laptop. This tells us that Sophia already knew Jason and that she had come to the school for some sinister purpose. Sister Sophia then sneaks into the school dormitory and listens to Jason sing while playing the guitar. She intended to make him her own. Next day, while in class, a student named Sarah tried to approach Jason. Sarah is a beautiful and popular girl. Her father was a regular benefactor and had considerable influence on the Catholic Educational Foundation. Shortly after, Sister Sophia entered the classroom. She felt jealous seeing Sarah and Jason's closeness. She then reprimanded Sarah in a slightly intimidating tone. After that incident, Jason and Sarah were back chatting in the schoolyard. At that time, Sarah told Jason about Sister Sophia's annoying attitude. Jason didn't say anything. But just as Sarah and Jason were kissing, Sister Sophia suddenly came up to them with an angry expression. She then told Jason to go to the classroom and warned Sarah to stay away from him. After that she asked Jason to come to her room when school was over. At first, Jason refused because a boy was not allowed to visit a girl's room, especially a nun's room. After school, Jason immediately went to Sister Sophia's room. He saw that the door to her room was slightly open, and when he looked inside, he was struck by the sight of Sister Sophia. At that time, she had taken off her nun's clothes and was wearing only bright red underwear. It turned out that Sister Sophia did this on purpose and pretended not to notice Jason's presence. Jason then hurriedly left for fear that Sister Sophia would catch him peeking. That night when he was about to sleep, Jason could still imagine the sexy Sister Sophia. He even went so far as to imagine himself making out with her and being immersed in incomparable worldly pleasures. One night, Sister Sophia sneaks into the girl's dormitory when everyone is asleep and she goes inside Sarah's room and secretly placed drugs in her books. She intended to trap Sarah to get her out of the school. Unexpectedly, Sister Rebecca caught her. Sister Sophia argued that she only wanted to check the security of the girl's dormitory. Sister Rebecca didn't ask any further and immediately left. The next day while in class, Sister Sophia asked the students to open their textbooks. When Sarah opened the book, she found a roll of cigarettes. Suddenly the incident caught the attention of Sister Sophia and her classmates. Sarah was then led to the principal's office. She could only cry and say that the cigarette was not hers. But the school still punished her according to the rules. She was suspended and had to leave school for some time. After this the entire school and hostel is checked and a bottle of liquor comes out of Jason's room as well. When it comes time to punish Jason for it, Sophia talks to the rest of the fathers and nun to give him a small punishment, that he has to help with the cleaning of the school this weekend. Sophia punished him so that he could stay at school that weekend. After that we are shown the scene of flashback how Sophia fell in love with Jason. In fact, Sophia once saw Jason's music video on social media. And she became obsessed with him. Then Sophia does complete research about Jason and learns that a nun named Sophia has been hired at Jason's school. While Jason is sleeping in his room, Sophia walks into the room and turns on the recording of her phone and keeps it on the side. Sensing someone in his room, Jason woke up and was very surprised to find Sister Sophia. Sister Sophia then approached Jason and persuaded him to have sex. Jason refused because it was a sin. But Sister Sophia ignored Jason's refusal. She instead took off her clothes. Jason was finally tempted, and they becomes intimate. The next morning Jason is shown feeling very guilty because he got intimate with a nun. Later when there is no one in Jason's room when Sophia comes to his room and starts smelling Jason's clothes. Just then Zoe comes there and sees her. Then Sophia scolds Zoe and then Zoe tells Jason about it. Seeing all this, Sophia gets very angry with Zoe and she gives low marks to Zoe in the test. After school, Jason intends to confess all his actions. However, Jason was surprised to find out that the person who heard his confession was not the priest but Sister Sophia. She then entered the confessional and who had finished his sentence, was finally able to return home for the weekend. The Bradys are enjoying dinner when Jason's father reprimands his son, punished for his poor grades. But Jason made his father even angrier by revealing his desire to achieve his dream of becoming a singer. Jason to finish his dinner and head to party, 
Sarah gets close to Jason and starts kissing him. During the kiss, Jason remembers Sophia and then he stops Sarah from kissing and he leaves the party. While coming out of the party, he had a bottle of liquor in his hand. For this reason, one policeman catches him, but Sophia handles the situation there. After this Sophia takes him to a hotel. Here Sophia again tries to seduce Jason, then Jason tells her that whatever they are doing is wrong. Then Sophia tells him that she wants to be with him for the rest of her life and that she also has a lot of money. So that both of them can live happily together. Jason feels very strange hearing Sophia and, then angrily scolds her. Says he doesn't want to be with. Then it leaves from there. Jason in the room and found Sophia unconscious on his bed. A panic Jason thought that Sophia ended her life by overdosing on drugs because there were a lot of drugs splattered on the table. While he was checking Sophia's condition, Sophia suddenly woke up. It turned out that it was a prank to get his attention and sympathy. Jason, who could no longer deal with Sophia's play, threatened to report her actions to the priest and principal. But Sophia replied that she too would expose their forbidden scandal to everyone. Jason could only stay silent because he didn't want his father and everyone to know about his depraved actions at school. Moments later, while Sophia was teaching the game and stopped the lesson, the principal told Sarah to go to class and attend classes as usual because her sentence was over. Jason and Sarah's relationship was close again. They were often seen alone and affectionately, which ignited a fire of jealousy and anger in Sophia. Sophia then came up with a plan to get rid of Sarah. In the evening, Sophia re-enters the girl's dormitory and finds Sarah in the shower. After ensuring no one would catch her, she immediately banged Sarah's head against the bathroom wall repeatedly until the girl died horribly. After that, she covered her tracks by disguising Sarah's death as an accident and returning to her room innocently. Not long after, Zoe was surprised when she found Sarah lying face down, covered in blood. She immediately called for help. Sarah's body was immediately taken to the hospital for an autopsy. The police and the rest of the dormitory think Sarah died from a fall in the bathroom. Even though it was true, Sophia wasn't afraid. She even looked angry and threatened Jason by showing a video recording of the two of them having sex. Sophia then threatens Jason if he dares to reveal all her actions. To their surprise, Sister Sophia suddenly appeared before them and met their parents. Mr. and Mrs. Brady greeted Sophia in a friendly manner. Even Jason's father invited Sophia to have dinner with them. Sophia then took the opportunity to tease Jason secretly by holding his thigh under the table. Suddenly Jason shuddered and was very nervous. Meanwhile, Sister Rebecca calls the hospital where Sophia's aunt is being treated. She intended to send a bouquet as a sign of condolences. But the hospital did not know the name of the patient mentioned by Sister Rebecca. She began to suspect that Sister Sophia lied to her. Back at the Brady's, Zoe urged Jason to tell her what had happened because he seemed nervous when Sister Sophia had dinner with them. Jason finally admitted that he had committed a grave sin with Sister Sophia. And Jason and Zoe are trying to find information about Sister Sophia's real identity. Sister Rebecca then exposed all of Sophia's lies and was about to report him to the priest. However, as Sister Rebecca headed for the door, Sophia struck her head which instantly caused Sister Rebecca to collapse and become unconscious. Jason and Zoe, who were about to report the discovery of Sister Sophia's true identity, went straight to Sister Rebecca's room. Because there was no answer when they knocked on the door, they finally left, not knowing that Sister Rebecca was unconscious and Sophia was hiding there. Jason and Zoe ended up going to church and meet Sophia. They said that they already knew her real identity and would report it to Sister Rebecca. Sophia, who was mad because the situation was now on the brink, immediately knocked Zoe unconscious and attacked Jason with a vengeance. Unexpectedly, Sister Rebecca was not dead. She appeared behind Sophia and pulled her away. But Sophia quickly turned things around and attacked Sister Rebecca.